sorullito de maíz. Um, it's corn, it's made with corn, and it's like a, like a little patties of corn and cheese inside. It's delicious, and stay tuned for this video. Okay, so you need a pot, you need a pan, you need the cornmeal, harina de maíz, the cheese, cheese, the queso, y la sal. So, all right, so basically what we're gonna do it's just like doing um, regular cornmeal, but it's a little bit different how I'm doing it because I'm going to do it re really, really thick and I'm going to use butter. So I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, so I'm going to put, I got two cups of water here and I'm going to put I'm gonna have a, a, a spoon, a teaspoon, or a little more of butter. Just gonna put it there. And I'm gonna wait for this butter to melt. So once you add the um, two cups of water, you go to a, almost, a, almost a boiling point. Um, and then you're gonna add a butter, a spoon of butter, a small spoon of butter, at least, and you want to dissolve all that butter in there. Hasta que la mantequilla se derrite adentro de la agua. No hirviendo la agua, pero caliente, casi boiling. Y ahora, vamos a meter a whole cup of the cold milk. I got one cup, okay? One cup. We're gonna start with one cup of cold milk. We're gonna mix it really nice. We're gonna add a little bit of salt. Now some people add sugar on it. I'm not gonna add sugar. And if it's too soft, you gotta add more. Just add a little more. Maybe half a cup. So you want to get it nice and thick. And you put your, your fire on low because you don't want to burn it. You want to cook it, but you don't want to burn it. And I'm looking for like a paste, like something like, like a nice, that you could make balls out of it. See? So, pick it up with the spoon. You want to have it that thick, All right? So that was one cup and a half of the cornmeal, two cups of water, butter, and some salt. And you'd use salt, whatever you like salt, how much salt you like. And this is done, super easy. So that's done. All right, once this is done, you're gonna put it right here. You're gonna let it cool down for a little bit. So yo hago, I cut it like this. You cut a few of them, but you can see 
how I cut it. You cut it like this. Then what I do, cut it in half. Cut it in half. And you're gonna cut them just like that. I'm gonna show they cut in half, so. Cause these are gonna go inside the long way, just like this. All right, so we got these, we got a plate. Make sure you got your hands washed and clean. And the reason that I'd say that to lift this aside is because you're gonna grab this with your hands and you don't wanna get burned cause this get really, really hot. So you wanna take a little bit like this and it's super hot. And you wanna make it like a little bowl. It's like Play-Doh. You're gonna make a little patty, just like this. Just like that, a little patty. You're gonna put the cheese right inside and you're gonna cover them. You're gonna go side to side. Okay, so now what you wanna do is, you're gonna add a little bit of water, one more spoon of butter. And you're gonna see if it makes with your hands without burning. And the butter does soft, soft it a little bit. There we go. And if it's, if it's too dry, you could add butter on it, just like what I did. And you will, you know when it's gonna be a little bit wet that you can make a ball like this, and it stays. Once you make this little ball like this, then you're ready, and this is ready. Make sure you don't leave no space opening because you don't want that cheese when you fry these, you don't want that cheese getting out to the oil. So this is how you do it. Very simple. This one. Pinch it, just like that. Okay, also these, you got the cheese here, but you could stuff these with meat. You could stuff it with ground meat inside, and it's delicious too. Okay, so there you go. That's why I say it could be lunch, dinner, whatever you want. It all depends what kind of stuffing you want to put in there. So,
Alright, I think these are done. I'm gonna give it one more turn on this. I'm gonna turn it one more time. Right there. I'm gonna turn this one. Okay, so these are ready to, to take out. One in there. I want in there. I'm gonna put another one. All right, so what I got here is the one with the cheese inside here, the one that we did fast. So I'm gonna cut this in half. And you see there's no cheese in there. But it still tastes good. We got some cheese in here, you see? Now this is the one that we did with the cheese. And like, they got cheese inside there. And you got cheese inside there. So that's the difference. The cheese inside there, or the cheese around it. And they both are delicious, and they both are really good. All right, so I got a, a very special dip that we use in Puerto Rico a lot, and it's mayo ketchup. And it's basically, it's ketchup, mayo, and I put a, a, a garlic, garlic powder. So I'm gonna show you how to do this really, really quick. I'm gonna add some mayo, some mayonnaise. You're gonna add some garlic powder. You're gonna add ketchup. And you're gonna go like this. You're gonna mix it all until you get a pink mixture. I'm gonna add a little bit more. And basically, This is mayo ketchup. And you dip those sorullito, you dip them in there and you eat them. Delicious. And this is what they sell in the store. Super easy to make. Anybody can make it. My kids make it all the time. Anybody can make it. Super easy. And it tastes amazing. Very simple. You got a little bit of flakes of parsley if you want. Some parsley. You could add some parsley too if you want. I like it like that. Alright, so the sorillitos are done with the egg. Egg. Mayo ketchup. Sorillito. And I hope you enjoy. Buen provecho. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment, let me know if you make one of these. And bon appetite. Buen provecho, and I'll see you next time.